Alrighty folks, guess what? This is not an unboxing. Well, I'll tell you what it is. Here is my brand new sounder. GPS slash chart plotter. It is the Ray Marine Dragonfly 7 inch Pro Sonar GPS. That's it. And it's going in the boat right now. As soon as my helper gets here. So, here's all the schmutz, the stuff. Here's the chart for the chart plotter. And here she be. There's the the unit. Seven inch. I think it's diagonally. <laughs> I don't I really don't know. But um one thing that really kind of pisses me off is this is all weather. They don't even sell a cover for it. They don't even sell a cover. The only cover they sell is if you flush mount this, then you can buy a cover. What? Raymarine, get off your ass and give us a cover in the god dang box. I don't want bird shit all over this thing. God dang. Well, you get all the other stuff in here. Here's the transducer. I don't want bird shit running down this because that's what I get. But there's the transducer. It's supposed to be numerous transducers all in one. Okay, and then of course you've got your kind of a ball and socket dealy here that's going to go right in there. A little wimpy quarter 20 bolt looks like. You know, I'll show you. I pulled out all my old school, my Ray Marine um, C, C70. I used to have a C120, which was a 12 inch. But there's basically the mount that goes on your dash. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill holes because of aluminum boat. One thing that we do in the aluminum boat world is we drill holes and then we tap them. We tap the aluminum and I got the screws and everything that's going to go in there. Of course they give you a bag of screws. I mean it's all, all the usual, you know, horse shit. Okay. Um, transducer from my old unit was like pretty massive. All these plastic pieces are all made in China, by the way. It says it right on the bag. All these plastic pieces. Oh, the whole unit's probably made in China anymore. Used to be where you bought Ray Marine products and most of the time they were made over in England or something. There's the uh, little disc that goes in. I don't know where I don't know where you put this disc in. Oh, I think it's, there it is, right in the back here. There's where your SD card goes. It's got this big rubber plug that goes over it. So, I'll get it on in the boat. First thing we're going to do is we're going to pull the transducer cable. I mean, I got this for, uh, I think it was $4.90 free shipping from a place called Northern Marine or something up north somewhere. And uh, the reason I sort of got this is just because it's smaller and everything is just like one plug in the back. You know, everything now is so simple compared to what I'm used to. You know, old school Dave with old school stuff. Here comes my helper right now. So, let me get the camera. 
and I'm going to show you here in the garage. This is what came out of the boat. GPS antenna. Look at the size of this transducer and all this cable. Bracketry. This was nothing but a display unit right here. That's just the unit right there that went on the dash. And then this was underneath the dash. So you can see, this is all going on eBay for sale. But boy, you can see, there's a huge amount of difference between that and this. Okay, feed me a little. Okay, you got it. All right. All right, I got it. It's coming. All right, folks. The saga of the Ray Marine Dragonfly continues. I'm a little disappointed. I'm not, I'm not a little disappointed. I'm hugely disappointed. This Dragonfly didn't even come with enough cable for me to come out of my chase and go on my console where I want to mount it. Um, I call them up and they go, oh, well, you got to get the extension cable. And then I said, I need a cover to keep the bird shit off of this, okay? And they say, oh, well, then you need to buy the cover. I, overall, I mean, I don't know the performance yet, but as far as the transducer is concerned, um, which I'll show you, it's a bit cheesy unit. It's a, it's a main China unit, okay? Um, it's not what I'm used to. I'm used to real sort of commercial duty type um, sounders and plotters and GPSs and things like that. So, um, I don't really know what to say about this thing, but other than so far, the Ray Marine Dragonfly 7 Pro is cheesy. It's very cheesy. Um, it's kind of like you're getting what you're, you're going to get, what you pay for, but maybe the performance of it or the way it works it will be to your liking. That's what I hope it's going to be for me. <coughs> I think as far as the parts and pieces and having to buy an extension cable because they won't tell you how long the cable is. Um, and then I call the guy and I said, hey, what kind of, what is this cheese ball shit? You know? And of course he gets all pissed off. But um, I'm just a technician here to answer your questions. Well, yeah, well, you work for the company that's creating cheese, okay? You know, you, you, you're, you're, part, you're, you're part of the curd, okay? So um, that's it so far. Um, got everything pulled. And I'm going to mount this where I'd like it to be. Um, the cable would probably not even... It's not even long enough to mount it on the other side of the console. I'll show you. Well, you can see the mark of my old machine right here. And these are the screws that were tapped into the aluminum. I don't even have enough cable to bring it up over here because my chase pipe is over here along this side of the console. It won't even reach because it has to go through here, this little grommet. Up in here, that's where the cables will come out. So I can't even mount it over here. I need the I need the extension. Okay. And then I'll I'll show you the. Uh, let me get on down from here, and I'll show you the transducer. I'm not really used to anything this cheesy, to tell you the truth. It's getting kind of darkish out here. I've been on this, you know, all day long because it didn't even it didn't even arrive from UPS until uh, what 1:30. But there's the bracket. There's the transducer. Long and skinny. I mean, this thing here. I don't.
don't know, just a little cheap plastic. You know, I'm not sort of used to this. This is what I call cheese, folks. Cheese. Okay. I'm more of a commercial quality kind of guy, but then I guess, you know, you're not going to buy, you're not going to get commercial quality for 500 bucks, that's for sure. But that's really all I could afford. Um, you know, I fish the same places most of the time. I know the depths. I know everything about it. Um, so I got this one with this chirp sonar and all this stuff just to help me, you know, detect fish and structure, really. And um, see, everything on an aluminum boat gets mounted on an exterior bracket. And I hope I even have this sort of right. See, there's my zinc. That's part of the boat, the boat zinc. And that's a welded plate with big bolts coming right out of the boat. And then there's another right over here. There's another plate for another transducer and my trim tabs and everything. So I personally think a little only only word that can come to mind right now is the dragonfly is a little cheesy. And I guess that's why people mount them on those kayaks. Oh my god. I mean to tell you the truth folks, I'm I'm kind of sick and tired of hearing about kayaks, kayaks, kayaks. But until I get back with you, that's where I'm at right now. Here testing my new Raymarine Dragonfly 7 Pro. I said earlier that I thought it was a little kind of cheapy. Am I impressed? Not really. Coming from a, let's see, in the beginning I had a Raymarine C120. I had a, a 12 inch screen that sat up here. Then that filled full of water and broke so many times that I said, hell with it. And I went and got a, uh, let's see, a Raymarine C70. Okay, that filled full of water because they say it's rainproof and stuff, and they're, they're full of it. it. It isn't rainproof or nothing. That one filled full of water, crapped out. So then I bought a used one, and now I just replaced that used one, which the pins broke off the back when I was trying to take it, take the unit off the boat. So now I replaced it with this Raymarine Dragonfly Pro 7. I'm not really that impressed with it. It doesn't, like I said before, it's not like serious commercial quality and you won't get that for 500 bucks. I, I kind of knew that going in. It's probably good enough that I can live with it, but, you know, for what I do, it's not, I have to get a better chart or something probably. I mean, a chart is a little cartoonish. Um, the sounder and all this chirp, what do they call it, down vision and all that stuff. I mean, you know, it's creating those types of screens here okay I mean I'm out here and I'm not really detecting any fish or anything and I got basically the whole unit on auto um, so we'll see how it works but so far 0 to 10 I'll give the Ray Marine Dragonfly 7 in my opinion and I'll give it a 5 and that's 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 a weak 5 I'm just I didn't want to go in debt, you know, going and getting a $1,200 machine. So I got this one. It kind of comes back to bite you. It's the same thing as um, 
you know, this is so popular, these dragonflies for putting on kayaks. I mean, come on, kayaks? You know, and then you put it on your, your commercial duty type boat. So it is what it is. But um, I got a big time learning curve to learn this thing. It's not that easy. I mean, they just plug and play is what they claim. Not if you want to fine tune it. I mean, fine tuning, you're gonna, there's gonna be a learning curve. Yeah, you can go, go right out, bam, you got sounder. And obviously, I think I got the transducer correct because it seems to keep up with me on the speed and everything. But if I go here to this, this particular chart, and I'll show you, um, I gotta look at another, there's another chart. I think this has like three charts in it. Okay, and I hit this chart. Take a look in here. It's, you know, it gives you a big old boat in here. And it's got depth contours. It's even picking up the restriction area of the Navy base over here where you're never supposed to go anymore for the rest of your life. But um, there's way better than this, and I'm going to try to get it. So that's pretty much it for now. I showed sort of the installation and things like that. Um, oh, the big disappointment, the huge disappointment with this is I go and I pull the whole transducer cable and get it up from the back of the boat up into the console and it's short sticking out of the, the chase pipe this big and for another $35, $40 or whatever it was I had to order an extension because that's how they cheese you. They're cheesing you. Uh, it doesn't come with a cover. I had to order a $30 cover. I found all this. I got really lucky because I found it on, e um, not eBay, uh, Amazon. And on Amazon, I got one day delivery of this cable. And then of course, tomorrow I'm gonna be getting the cover. They don't give you a cover, but boy, you can get a cover real easy if you're flush mounting it. So I wanted to get a cover for this because what do I do? I go to the dock, I'm cleaning fish. Next thing I turn around, I got bird crap running down the screen. What are they thinking, Ray Marine? No cover and too short of a transducer cable. So that's what I say is, you know, for 500 bucks, you're getting a 500 buck unit, okay? You're not getting, you're not getting a super commercial quality machine by any means. You'd have to spend some big money for that. So that'll be it. That's basically my review of the Ray Marine Dragonfly 7. It's a 5 out of, out of 10. Thanks for watching.